Today I've been working with the MLX90614. This is an infrared uh, thermal detector and the Arduino and I've got the simplest program I could possibly write that will give me uh, data from here. We'll measure temperature and so I thought you might be interested in that. Let's go through it. So let's do a demo. I will recompile it, upload it, clear the output. I will show this thing here and this over here on the screen is where the data is coming out. So it shows the target which is Actually, I've got it pointed toward the window right now. It is 28.5, roughly. And as I get my hand near it, it should go up to somewhere about 35, 36, depending on me. So, yes, that works. And the background is maintaining. If I look over here at my wall temperature thing, yes. So, this is a bit low, but uh, could be calibrated better. And then the bottom line, of course, is in Fahrenheit. So if you're a Fahrenheit person, yeah, so I'm a little bit low. But okay, so yes, it does work. Uh, again, if I was going to do human being temperatures as a regular thing, I would use the other sensor, the 90615. Okay, so that's it for our demo. Let's take a look at the hardware. This is the MLX90614, and I should make note that there are two of these sensors in common use. One of them is the 614, and the other is the 615. The 614 is for more industrial applications, uh, measuring temperatures of things as opposed to people. It has a much wider temperature range, so if you want to measure the temperature of a soldering iron, something like that, this would be a much better choice. The 615 has a much narrower temperature range centered around uh, the uh, animal and human being type temperature ranges. So uh, make note of that. They require different libraries in the Arduino. Okay, so um, up here we have ground going to ground. We have 5 volts going to 5 volts. I've also tried this on 3.3. It seems to work. I don't know if you have to calibrate it. I didn't try it very long. I just uh, kind of poked in there. So okay, it looks like it's working. Uh, but yeah, if you want to try 3.3, uh, you might let me know in the comments. This is the data line. I have, I'm using the analog 4 pin and uh, for, the, for the clock line, I am using the uh, analog 5 pin. So that's all there is to it for wiring to the Arduino. Let's look at the software. This is written in Arduino C. It is for the MLX90614, which is an IR infrared non-contact sensor. The program reads and outputs data from the sensor in both degrees centigrade and degrees Fahrenheit. It gives you two measurements of each. One is the object or the target, the thing you're pointing the sensor at, and the other is the background. So it's just the ambient temperature in the room. Uh, the uh, VCC is 5 volts, ground is ground, SDA is A4. I'll have that in the diagram, of course. Uh, the clock line is A5. I've also tested it at 3.3, that seems to work. Notice that the M, uh, MLX90614 and the 15 have very different specifications. And I'll talk about that when we talk about hardware. These need different libraries to operate, so they're different Adafruit libraries. Stepping down here, we need the wire library, so that's to communicate on the I2C bus to our module. And then we include the Adafruit MLX90614 library. If you use the 90615, you need a different library here. And then I use a abbreviation, a nickname for this string because I'm going to use it down here a lot and I don't want really long strings. Uh, and I'm using the default address on the device, which is hexadecimal 5A. Down here in the setup routine, uh, this is uh, connecting to the COM3 over here, and that's pretty standard. And then MLX begins, so I initialize the, the sensor, the 90614 here. Down here we have a loop. We're just going to get the data from the, from the sensor, and then we're going to print it. I have a note here to myself that this function, when you call this function, it returns double. So if you if you need uh, variables to keep the data, they have to be type double. Serial print. So what I'm doing is I, 
print out the degree centigrade. So let's take this line right here. You can see uh, degree centigrade target 28.75 background. And that is this line right here, the degree centigrade arrow target, the actual number, and then degree centigrade. So that's right to here. And then the next is background equals background equals and then the temperature and then serial print degree centigrade. These next two lines do exactly the th same thing to print the data in Fahrenheit. So it's this line right there. Then I print a separator. I wait half a second and then I go through and I print it over and over and over again. Well, that's it for this super simple version of the MLX90614 infrared non-contact sensor. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your Arduino programming.